Today's lecture continues our series of lectures on the cranial nerve with cranial nerve number four. Cranial nerve number four is called the trochlear nerve. Now the trochlear nerve arises from the trochlear nucleus of the brain and emerges from the posterior aspect of the midbrain. Now this is the only cranial nerve which emerges from the posterior aspect of the brain stem. Now, the trochlear nerve moves along the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus and continues anteriorly through the superior orbital fissure. The trochlear nerve is a general somatic motor type of nerve and its function is to depress and intort the eye. The results of the lesions of the trochlear nerve result in diplopia and a head tilt. So, the trochlear nerve innervates a single muscle, which is called the superior oblique muscle. Now, the superior oblique muscle, as seen in this diagram, comes up and wraps around a structure called the trochlea, which gives the name trochlear nerve, wraps around the trochlea and attaches to the eyeball in an oblique fashion. So when this muscle tightens, it tends to depress the eyeball, meaning it faces down, as well as in towards the eye. Now, if we look at this avocado and imagine this being the eyeball, the superior oblique muscle would wrap around it in this fashion. And when, it, when the muscle contracts, it would both depress the eyeball and in toward it, meaning it will rotate the eye inwardly. Now, the trochlear nerve has a very easy course. It comes out of the superior orbital fissure from the cranium and directly attaches to the muscle innervating it. Now, a result of the lesion causing diplopia and the head tilt. When there is a lesion of the trochlear nerve, this muscle will have paralysis to it and will lead to uh, an elevation of the eyeball, which will cause a diplopia or double vision. So the patient cannot see um, in a certain sense and will have difficulty such as going downstairs. So the patient will tend to tilt their head to the opposite side of the lesion. So in this case, there is a left trochlear nerve injury. So the patient would tend to tilt their head to the right to compensate for the double vision. And that is cranial nerve number four.